Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming and we're going to do another tutorial on RPG Maker MV. Uh, today we're going to do a little bit of item customization and enchantments and making items and uh, I'm going to walk you guys uh, through how to install the plugins and and how to uh, create the items you need. And Yanfly has a video uh, about this but he really gives a lot of information real quick so I'm going to slow it down and just take a chunk of what he was kind of saying. So to start off, you're going to need a couple of plugins. You're going to need the Yanfly Engine plugin item core, and you're going to need the the Yep X item upgrade slots. And to get those, you want to go to um, Yanfly.mo slash uh, uh, Yep Y E P slash, and then that'll take you to all the plugins. And you're going to scroll down to where you see uh, I think I passed it. Here it is the item core and the item upgrade slots. It's these two. Um, alternatively, you can just click on English links, uh, links and then download it directly. And uh, you want to put that into your uh, your project folder. So to, to get into that folder, you go open up your MV and go to game and then open folder. And then you're going to go to the JS folder and the plugins folder. And you're going to put the JS file in here. And then once you've done that, you're going to go to this little puzzle piece right here you're going to double click on an empty slot and you're going to find the plugin that you just added which is the item core here and then the item upgrade slots which is right underneath there you're going to put the item core first and then the item upgrade slots below that it has to be in that order and then if you were to double click it you can click on the help uh, and it gives you a bunch of information uh, on how to use these uh, plugins really really useful stuff um, you, when you find an item that's not sold from a shopkeeper it has a random chance of being plus or negative by a random number like say it gives 10 defense well it could actually give 5 to 15 defense and you can change that if you don't want the random uh, variance you just set this to zero here if you want it to be higher you can change it up uh, and you can adjust all these numbers really cool but we're going to be focusing on the item upgrade slots today so um, the default slots is, um, I set it to four, I think it's three by default, and the variance is one. So um, you can find an item that's got three slots or it's got five slots, um, but it's really up to you uh, what you want them to be at. <clears throat> so when we go to the database, we're gonna look uh, at our items. He uses note tags uh, to, to like uh, specify what uh, an item does. So to create an item, we're just going to uh, change the maximum so that we have a free space. And then we're going to um, pick a graphic for it, whichever you want. I like these orbs for, for a lot of them. Then we're going to give it a name. Um, we'll call it Upgrade Item 1. And I've made a few of these already, so I don't have to type everything. But basically, you're going to give it a name. You're going to give it a quick description of, uh, about what it's going to do. You're going to select it as a regular item. Uh, the price is up to you. A zero means you can't sell it. You don't want it to be consumable, so you select no. And then for uh, occasion, you say never, and the scope is none. Uh, it doesn't need any effects or anything, but what it does need is note tags. So you're going to use the upgrade effects in brackets, and then underneath here, you can have as many brackets as you want. Like, say we wanted to give attack and defense, we would just put attack there. We can have it go uh, magic attack plus whatever. Um, alternatively, you can have it say agility minus 10 or whatever you want and you can really make some custom um, enchantments. You can even give it a prefix or a suffix by just typing prefix and say the cool and then you could say suffix of smashing. So if this was like a, an axe or something, it would say the cool axe of smashing and it would give uh, 5 attack, 5 defense, 5 magic, and it would take away 10 ag agility. So that's basically uh, some of the things you can do. Uh, you can really do a lot, like you can change its graphic, you can change, you can specify on certain items if uh, you want only an enchantment to be for those items, then you would just, you would type in for, uh, for weapons. Forgot exactly what it's called. We'll go back to the help file here. Uh, upgrade item type you can uh, specify they can only use it on key items or you can even design your own with the string 
uh, here it is upgrade weapon type so you can select like with this um, enchantment you can only use it on this type of weapon or uh, this type of armor pretty neat and it gives you a, a breakdown of everything that's right here and everything that says stat you're gonna just in, instead of typing stat you're gonna type one of these things so I've got some of them already made so you guys don't have to see me make a bunch of them to save some time in the video so let's go ahead and look at these events right here and this uh, treasure chest I've created a bunch of different ones and I've just awarded 20 of them and then I've got um, four other chests that just give feral uh, leather armor so that you can uh, see the variance in action but before we go load the game I want to show you some of the enchantments I've made so the spheres are just typical plus five to one stat and that's all they're gonna do but then I made one that says uh, shattering and it's gonna give the prefix of shattering and it's gonna give 15 attack and 15 magic attack and then I made another one that awards more slots because you're limited by how many enchantments you could put on an item by the slots and you can even go to the weapons and put in um, uh, you can put in brackets here and award more slots to it to say this this and if you put it in brackets right here it will go past the default uh, I think the default is four with a variance on it but you can say this item is has 20 slots or something like that and if you want to know how to do that you just go into uh, the upgrade slots go to the help file all the information is in here and, and you can just type that uh, copy paste it even one thing I did notice is you can't right click on MV which is really frustrating sometimes so a workaround most people know this already you hold the, down the control button and you hit C and then you can go to whatever menu you wanted to copy it to and uh, oops and then you can uh, go to the the menu and type control V and it'll still copy paste but it doesn't give you that right click see I'm right clicking you can hear it but nothing's happening so um, let's look at some of the special ones I made in uh, the shattering one and then I made one that says of the gods and it's gonna give 11 slots it's actually gonna award 10 more slots to it because it's gonna take up one slot when you use the enchantment on it so it's like a plus 10 slot item and then I made a zodiac one which awards five to all stats and it gives the prefix zodiacs zodiac and when you have uh, an item that gives awards a prefix and then you use another item that awards another prefix it's gonna overwrite it so I'll show you that right now we're gonna clear this item we don't need that alright let's save our game let's go ahead and uh, experiment with some orbs also today Yanfly added a new link uh, button thing which is pretty cool because you can at the beginning of your game you can have a, a, a UR, URL link so when people so guys, open, here from open up your game they can uh, go directly to your uh, web page or whatever to help indie devs and stuff. I thought that was really neat and I, I obviously of course used it right there. So let's go to a new game. We got all the orbs and uh, let's grab a, a, a couple of these. I got three of them. Now they're all basically the same piece but because we have variants um, you can kind of see the difference. So I put on the top you can see overlapping layers of feral beast hide, defense plus 12, magic defense plus 6. But if you look on the, the, the right side you see defense plus 10, magic defense plus 4. So there's a variance of 5. So it could go up down or I could go up down. It could go up 5 or down 5. So in this one we kinda got like a cursed one because we got negative 2 defense and negative 2 magic defense. But the next one got a plus 1 defense and a plus 4 magic defense. So that was a pretty good one. This one got a, um, an, uh, a nerf to the defense, but a little boost to the magic defense. So I would say overall, this is probably the best one. So we'll select that one, and then we're going to upgrade it. And you can see um, we have five slots on that up. In this one, we have four slots. This one, we got five. This one, we actually got six slots. So this one might actually be a better one, even though the stats are lower. Um, so let's upgrade. We put an attack one in there. You can see that we get five attack for that. But it also took up one of the slots. So um, we'll go to the shattering one. 15 more attack, 15 uh, magic attack, and it also renamed it. Now it's a shattering feral leather armor. Um, let's give it a zodiac enchantment. We can see shattering is going to be overwrote, overwritten by the zodiac one. So now it gave the five to all stats, but it, it's no longer shattering, even though the stat is still there. It just renamed it. So if we give it uh, this one, this is why I thought this was uh, such a powerful one when you add slots you can just keep adding spheres to it um, so we give that one 
Now we have 13 free slots and we can just add a bunch of stuff to it. As long as we don't fill it up completely, we can still add more stuff to it. However, if we completely fill up all the slots, we won't be able to add the one that gives it more slots because we need that one initial slot to add more. So that's just a few things you can do. But look at this basic, uh, probably early early game armor is, is giving like end game stats because of these spheres. So this one way you can uh, upgrade your character. Just wanted to show you guys that real quick. Hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Um, subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this. I'll be putting out a lot of MV, uh, RPG Maker MV videos consistently. And uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next tutorial.